Hi, Mr. Robert. Hi, Miss Redmond. How you doing? I'm doing really good. It's nice to see you, and I see you have your mask on. I usually don't wear it inside, but to start off this video, I thought I'd wear it. I love your mask. Thank you, Mr. Robert. I just got back from the store. I bought myself some lima beans because I want to start a garden. So when I was inside the store, I wore my mask. Very safe for you and safe for everybody else who was around you. Yay, shall we get started? Sounds great. Hey, Mr. Robert. Hey, Ms. Redman. Can I tell you about when I went to the store to buy my lima beans? Oh, I love lima beans. Tell me about it. OK. I went to the store, and I knew that I had cash. Ooh, big money. Mm-hmm. But I didn't realize that each one of these bills that I had, well, most of the bills, some of them had the same number, but they have different numbers on them, and that means that they're worth different amounts. Oh, well, you got to know how much money you have before you go to the store, Miss Redman. Exactly right, Mr. Robert. So when I got to the cashier and she started ringing me up for my lima beans, I didn't really know how much money I had, and I had to get myself together. Mm, glad you did. Okay, friends, when I got to the counter at the gardening store, I put my lima beans down. She said, your lima beans cost $3 each. Now notice that I have two packs of beans. So I had one bill that had 20 on it. That's worth $20. I had two bills that had fives. So that's five $10. And then I had two, three, four, and five. I had five bills with one on them. One, two, three, four, and five. So I had a 20, I had five 10, so I had two fives, and then I had five ones. Altogether, I had 20, 25, 30, 36, 37, 38, 39, $40, and that's what I had. Alrighty, so these beans costed $3 each. I didn't quite have enough to give one, two, three for one pack and four, five. I didn't have another one. So I had to think about how I could use my money to buy $3 for this pack and $3 for this pack. So I needed $6. What would you use? What I decided to use was I decided to give my one $5 bill and a $1 bill. Five plus one is six. And I gave this one away. Shh, I gave this one away because it had like a little rip in it. And I wasn't really sure if I was able to use it. So I was kind of testing out if I was able to use it and I was. So $6 bought two packs of beans. Hey there, Miss Redmond. Hey there, Mr. Robert. So you got your lima beans. I did. And what are you going to do with those beans now? Well, I was thinking I would plant them down in my garden, but there's all these little bunny rabbits running around. I think they might try to eat my lima beans. So oh, I, I had a different. Yes. <laughs> so I have a different idea that I want to plant them in boxes on my balcony. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes. So you've already measured and you know that the boxes will fit on your balcony. Uh, no, I didn't think of that. Oh, okay. Well, do you have a ruler to measure? No. No ruler? Um, do you have a yardstick? No, but I know that my boxes are about like, they're about as long as my arm. That's okay. how long they are on one side. Uh-huh. Well, that's, well, if you don't have anything to measure with, maybe you could use body parts to help you estimate in your measurement. Mm, say more about that, Mr. Robert. Well, so this is my ruler and it's uh, one foot long and it's got 12 inches. You can see the, the numbers on here. One inch, there's two inches there, there's three inches there. And this whole ruler is about the same length as my arm from the elbow to the wrist. Hmm. So, so I bet if my arm is that long. I bet your arm is that long as well. So from the elbow, from the elbow 
wrist. To your wrist. It's about one foot long. It's about one foot long. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah. So you could actually use that part of your body to help you measure. I mean, it might take a while, but if you don't have a, a ruler handy, you can use your arm to help you measure. That's a great idea. I'm going to use my arm. Yeah. Now, if you've got something that's smaller and you wanted to measure in inches instead of how many feet, you know, the arm would tell you how many feet you need, right? Or how many feet something is long. But if you wanted to talk about inches, is there a body part that you think is about the same size as an inch? Oh, I know, Mr. Robert. What about my thumb from this sort of hinge here to the uh -huh. end? Well, let's see. <gasps> is that about one inch? Yeah. There you go. So if you needed to measure something that was small, you could use from the tip of your thumb to the first knuckle as so, one inch. So, so Mr. Robert, inch, uh -huh. is that called like the approximate it's not going to necessarily be exactly an inch but it's going to be pretty close to it it's going to get you close to the accurate amount it's not going to be exact but it is an approximation perfect yeah. all right miss redmond we're in my kitchen <laughs> uh you want to practice some estimating of measurement i am excited to practice okay so i've got uh three things that i'm going to have you estimate on let's start with this first can you see that? Mm-hmm. A toothpick. Okay. Let me see. Let me, I would say that toothpick is definitely smaller than my arm. Okay. I would probably want to estimate using my thumb, the top of my thumb, as an inch. So I would say that that toothpick is one. I'm going to guess that that toothpick is two inches long. Oh, so two of these from yep. the thumb to the knuckle, the tip of the thumb to the first knuckle, you think that's two of those would be yep. the same, right? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure using my ruler. Okay. Okay, there's the ruler and I'm putting the end of the toothpick. Mm. Did you see that? Bring it really close to the camera, Mr. Robert. How's I that? can see that that is actually two and a half inches long. But that was pretty close. That was a pretty good estimate. Thank you. Good job. So that was great estimate. Very close. All right. You ready for another one? I'm ready. All right. How about this? Mm -hmm. Mr. Robert, will you please hold that spoon from your down to your elbow just so I can see. Oh, Mr. Robert, I can see that spoon is just about the same length as your one foot plus two, maybe two and a half inches. All right. Ooh, I changed my estimation. That's going to be one foot plus one inch. Yeah. About one if foot. you go from the middle of your spoon and not the edge, because your spoon has a circle at the end. How about if I use my yardstick? Okay. So I'm placing that at the end. All right. I see that it's at the 13. Wait a minute, Mr. Robert, how many inches is one foot? One foot. This ruler is one foot and it is. 12 inches. 12 inches. Mr. Robert, I was correct. <laughs> Your you got spoon it, Mr. is one foot and one inch. There you go. One foot 12, and one inch. 12 plus one, 13. That's right. 12 plus 20. Hey, I'm feeling confident about my gardening box. One more. Okay. Your gardening box is going to be, I don't know, maybe the the width of the length of this. Okay. As, you're 
long as this is, it's going to be as wide as your garden box is. What do you think about this uh, cabinet door? Well, Mr. Robert, I'm thinking that your cabinet door is definitely longer than a foot because I know that your cabinet is not as small as my elbow to my wrist. And I just put my arm up there. So let me see. That's going to be two of, of your arms. So that's going to be two feet. What about two feet, two and a half feet? Two and a half feet? Yeah, I think two and a half feet. That means one foot, two foot. Yeah, and then half of 12 is six. So maybe it's going to be 12 plus 12 plus six. Which is? Let me see, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 inches. Okay. I'm going to put the tip of the yardstick here at the top and I'm going to put my thumb right here at the bottom. <laughs> ah! Mr. Robert, I'm good at this. Have you been stalking in my kitchen? <laughs> Maybe if you're cooking something good over there. I may cook some lima beans. Oh, yes. You, well, you'd, you'd have to them. You have to wait a long time for mine to grow, but uh, maybe we can buy some from the store. Sounds good. Good job estimating and measuring, Miss Redmond. Thank you, Mr. Robert. Now we know how to count our money and we know how to measure. Absolutely. We're ready for some lime and beans. How about a game now? That's a good idea. Let's go play a game. All right. Hey, Miss Redmond, what game are we going to play today? We're going to play a game called Pico Fermi Bagel. Have you ever played that before? I've never played that game before, but I'm excited to learn. Yay. Well, with Pico Fermi Bagel, it's a guessing game. I'm going to write down a number that you cannot see. So okay. that means you have to either cover your eyes or put your head down. No peeking. I won't peek. And you have to guess what number I wrote down. So I'm going to tell you that we're going to write something that's in the hundreds place. So we're just, there's just going to be three digits. Three digit number, okay. And the way I give you, you're gonna guess my correct number is that I'm gonna say Pico. That means that you have a correct digit, but it's in the wrong place value. Okay. And if you say, if I say Fermi, that means you have a correct digit in the correct place. So that's almost like I'm confirming that's correct. Fermi. Got say it. Fermi, Mr. Robel. Fermi. And then bagel, if I say bagel, that means none of those digits that you said are correct. It's almost like a zero. Oh, kind of like a bagel. Bagel. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to try. Okay. Yay. I want you to cover your eyes or turn to the side, whatever you want to do. Can I keep uh, my head focused down? Absolutely. I'm going to write down my guesses here, so I'll be just looking down the whole time. Why are you writing down your guesses, Mr. Robert? Um, so that when you say Pico Fermi or bagel, then I'll remember what I had said and then I can kind of, I may have to play with different combinations to figure out which one is correct, which one is in the right place and stuff like that. Okay, great idea. Here we All go. Right. All right. I'm not looking anymore. All right, friends, let's not tell Mr. Robert what number I wrote down. Do you see that? All right. Shh. Go ahead and take a guess, Mr. Robert. All right, my first guess is 478. 478. Well, Mr. Robert, I'm going to have to say bagel, bagel, bagel for your ones place, ten place, and hundreds place. Okay, so nothing's correct. So I will not guess any numbers with a four, a seven, or an eight. All right. Perfect. So he knows. Uh, okay. Uh, 123. <laughs> 123. Okay, Mr. Robert. Yeah. For your hundreds place, I'm going to say Fermi confirmed. Okay. For your tens place, I'm going to say Fermi. Correct. Okay. For one place. Are you going to say Fermi? <laughs> no. 
I don't know, Mr. Rover. I'm going to say bagel for your one's place. OK. Are you all telling Mr. Robert the answers here? Hmm. <laughs> Remind me of what number you guessed again. You said 123. Right. OK. All right, so I know 100 is correct. I know 20 is correct. And that last number can't be a 3. It also can't be a 4 or a 7 or an 8 because you told me bagel before on 478. So I'm going to say 125. You have Fermi, Fermi, bagel. OK, um, 126. You have Fermi, Fermi, Fermi. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Mr. Robert. Thanks, Miss Redman. That My was turn. fun. Your turn now? Yes, please. OK, uh, all right. Do not tell, Miss Redman, are you going to cover your eyes or are you going to look down? What are you going to do? Okay, I'm going to put my shades on and promise to have my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me ask a question. Can some of the digits um, be the same? Absolutely. Okay. Um, All right. Here is my number. Don't say anything to Miss Redman. All right, what's your first guess, Miss Redman? My first guess, Mr. Robert, is 444. Bagel, bagel, bagel. Oh, okay. My next guess is 312. Bagel, bagel, bagel. All right, I got to make myself some notes. So I know that there are no fours and there's no three, there's no one and no two. You're right. So friends, this is what I'm going to do. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Mr. Robert, really quickly, I want to show something in the camera. Oh, you can look up. I'm not showing anything right now. Okay, can you see what I'm holding up? So you wrote all the numbers from yep. zero to nine. And so I am going to get rid of the four. I'm going to get rid of the three. I'm going to get rid of the one. And I'm going to get rid of the two. So now I know these are the only ones I can guess. That's helping you keep track. That's helping me keep track. Okay, what's your next guess? My next guess is... 567. Uh, bagel, bagel, bagel. Mm. Wow. Keep, keep looking down, Miss Redman. I'm going to okay, show, okay. I'm going to remind everybody. Here's the number that I chose, and here are her guesses so far. And you can see it's bagel every time. All right, you can look up again. Okay, Mr. Robert. My next guess is um, 890. Can I can I show these guys really quickly why I'm choosing 890? Sure. I'm choosing 890 because I crossed out all of the digits and those are the only ones left. Okay. 890. Bagel, pico, pico. Okay. 890 bagel pico pico so i know that my eight is in the wrong it's the wrong place and the wrong number pico pico correct wrong place Whoo. um so we're gonna do Nine hundred and woo. Okay, nine hundred and eight. Now remember when you guessed eight ninety before for the I said bagel. Oh, so there's no nothing correct. Uh when when you said I'm sorry, no. When you said eight hundred and ninety. For the first digit, I said bagel for the okay. eight. Right. 
Okay. So, okay, Mr. Robert, what about 909? Ding, 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 ding. That was so fun. Good job, Ms. Redmond. Good job, too, Mr. Robert. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much for playing with me, and I can't wait to grow my lima beans. I can't wait to eat your lima beans. <laughs> Have Keep a good day. Keep that mask when you go out. Stay safe. Absolutely. I've kept it very close. Take care, Ms. Redman. Take care, Mr. Robert. Bye. Bye.